Hi, my name is Matt, I'm with OptiScience. Today I'd like to show you how to use our AI add-on feature. The AI add-on allows you to plug any webcam into the device running OptiScience. It can detect and analyze passerbys to present you with data on the impact and overall effectiveness of your digital signage. The application is completely GDPR compliant. We don't store or collect any of your personal data. In this example, we have a retail store that sells skincare products. The AI add-on is configured to show content based on the gender of the person viewing the digital sign. It will play the assigned playlist. When a customer passes by and views the screen, the AI camera will detect and play content relevant to the person based on gender detected. You can configure the AI add-on to collect analytics such as how many people are viewing your screen, the gender breakdown of the people viewing your screen, and how long those individuals are viewing your screen for. If we, for example, were to take a webcam and place it here in front of my face, it now begins to play a skincare product video targeted for men. The OptiScience AI add-on can be configured on Windows, Linux, or Raspberry Pi devices running OptiScience. In this section, I'd like to show you how to configure your AI camera add-on within the OptiScience web portal. First, navigate to the web portal and log in. You'll be brought to the Screens page. Navigate to the Files and Assets page. Choose Apps and either scroll down to or search for the AI add-on. Once selected, you'll be presented with a few configuration options for the AI add-on. First, you'll want to name the AI add-on application. Then we have the option for what do you want to detect. Currently, we only have gender as a criteria for triggering content within the AI add-on. We do have plans for adding age as a trigger in the future. We have the confidence level, and then we have the send data only setting. You'll notice that when we select the send data only setting, all of the other configuration options disappear. This is because the send data only setting does not actually trigger content. It simply gathers analytic information on those that the camera detects that are viewing your screen. It gathers data on how many people view the screen, how long they dwell in front of the screen, and it also provides some demographic breakdown of the individuals viewing the screen. Now, if we do want to actually trigger content based on the gender detected by the camera, we'll want to uncheck that option. The first thing we have here after that is our play settings. You can choose to have the content play immediately after a face is detected or add a delay the reason you'd want to add a delay is to ensure that the individual is still in front of the screen before the content plays. We can have the content play for at least a certain amount of time and then have it rest for a certain amount of time. This is useful to prevent rapid triggering, especially in high foot traffic areas. The next section we have is our play rules. Our play rules allow us to choose what type of content plays based on which trigger and then when it plays. I actually already have an AI add-on configured for this example, so I'll go ahead and pull it up here and we can review it. In this instance, we have the AI add-on named. Of course, it's detecting gender with a 95% confidence rate. We are not using the send data only setting because we are trying to trigger content based on gender. In our play settings, we have it set to play immediately without delay for at least 25 seconds and rest for three seconds. We have playlists assigned based on male and female triggers. In this instance, we're using playlists that present information on male and female skincare products. We have it set to play every day around the clock. Now let's say we wanted to make some changes here. We'll go ahead and select the three dots to the far side, remove the rule for male, and we'll go ahead and remove that. And then we're going to add a new rule. We're going to leave it set for around the clock. If a male face is detected, we would like it to trigger a playlist, and then you simply choose from your list of playlists. We'll use the same one here and then hit save. That's it for configuring the application. Now this is how you would assign the application. We'll of course close here. We'll go to our screens. going to be using my Windows device here as an example. You'll want to select the Edit Screens option. You're going to want to have it assigned the default asset that's going to be showing whenever the camera is not triggered. In this case, we of course have the, the one skincare asset. Then you'll need to go to your Advanced Settings, scroll all the way down, and then select More. Scroll all the way down again, 
and you'll notice, we'll go ahead and deactivate it to show you how to activate it, you'll notice the AI add-on setting. First, you'll need to activate the AI add-on, select activate, then you'll want to change the content here and you will have the option to choose the AI add-on application that you've configured and now hit save. So now what we're seeing here is this screen is set to by default show the one skincare asset and utilizing the AI add-on if triggered it will display the playlist for male or female skincare products based on what the AI add-on detects. And that's it for the AI add-on feature. Of course, if you need any technical assistance or have any questions, you can reach out to our support team at support at OptiScience.com or with the little green help buttons in the bottom of our web portal or our support site at support.OptiScience.com. For more features like this, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.